We got to slow down. We have way too many people coming into America. We got to throttle back and digest the meal. Today, we're going to check it out. Even though she tries the border battle, it's not up for debate. Guys, it's going to be by Charlie Square. Guys, let's get straight into this. Hi, Mr. Kirk. How are you? Um, so earlier in your speech, you said that one in five Americans, no, one in five people in this country will be illegal. Yes, um, in three years. Three in years. in yeah. three years. Um, you proposed that securing our borders will help this situation, but I also think that our green card slash citizenship problem uh, process is a problem. So how do you suggest that we make it easier for people who want to get in this country legally to do that? Yeah, well, first of all, um, thank you. I, I agree with part of that. I don't think – so there's this idea that we have to make it easier to get into the country. I probably agree with that. So I think that we should have a moratorium on immigration right now. I think we got to slow down. We have way too many people coming into America. We got to throttle back and digest the meal. We got to allow assimilation to happen. We got to allow, we have way too many people coming into America. Now, that's not saying legal immigration shouldn't go up again. I think it could be a phenomenal asset to America, and it has been a phenomenal asset. But many times in American history, specifically the 1950s and early 1960s, we ratcheted back to almost zero immigration into America. The reason is post World War II. Of course, you know, there was a lot of damage in other places, but the, there was plenty of people that wanted to come to America in the 1950s, a ton. Think about it. Europe is destroyed. But they said, we have a moral obligation to World War II veterans to make sure they have good wages, good jobs, and we're going to deliver for them. That was a moral argument, right? And so legal immigration should always be viewed through the prism. Does it benefit the country and the citizens that are already here? Currently, our legal immigration system is so messed up that we prioritize the people that don't share Western values, and we don't bring the people that could potentially share Western values. I'll give you an example. The best example of how our legal immigration system is messed up is Minneapolis. Have you been to Minneapolis in the last five years? It is unrecognizable. And when you come into this country and you have someone like Elon Omar that talks endlessly about how awful America is, despite being a beneficiary of the generosity and benevolence of America, I say there's something fundamentally wrong with that, right? Now, I contrast that with some amazing immigrants that come here legally that learn the pledge and they, they, they mesh beautifully into American society. So where's the balance? Right now, we have to slow down, throttle it back. We're doing things way too quickly. Our green card system has a million people coming in every single year. Instead, I want people that fit into the American experiment, fit into the story. And that's not a racial thing, by the way, at all, whatsoever. I believe that Cubans can make some of the, have and will make and do make the greatest Americans in America. It's not a racial thing. And so you look at it and say, wow, is this actually making America more free and fulfilling our obligation to our fellow countrymen? What I just said, I get attacked wildly for. I don't care. It's true, and someone needs to say it. And opening your borders, say anyone can come for any reason whatsoever, regardless if they speak the language, regardless if they agree with Western values, regardless of their belief in the Constitution, it's wrong. And it's, it's destroying the country from within. It is. And you see it in Minneapolis. You have Elon Omar elected to public office. She is the mascot for an immigration moratorium. You see her, you're like, there's something wrong with that. She has nothing but negative, vile, mean things to say about America when she was rescued in a Kenyan refugee camp Whoa. and brought in by our own benevolence. Guess what? Our generosity has been taken advantage over the last 20 years. It's time we put our citizens first. Thank you. Hmm. Guys, who is thinking about it? I have 100,000 followers, millions of likes, millions of looks, and I can't make money from this. Why? Because I'm not in America. No, I have to go there. Like, there are a lot of reasons people have to go to America, and you just can't blame them. Like, America is a home for everyone. But guys, tell me what you think about this. If you like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.